Hi, today, we'll discuss the control box in-out function. Rainbow system has a total of 40 control box inputs and outputs. We have 16 digital inputs, 16 digital outputs, 4 analog inputs and 4 analog outputs. First, let me show you how to use digital and analog input signals. Switch is connected to digital input number 3. To check whether the signal is inputted correctly. Enter the monitor menu on the right side of screen. And you will see digital inputs and outputs. Let's apply a digital input signal. Then the red box in 3 turns to green. It means that the signal is coming. In our next example, we will use this signal. Let's create the wait function that waits until the condition or time is met. And open a window that uses a condition. Click condition to launch the keyboard. Set the type on the left of keyboard to input. Press the list, we will see SD analog input number 0 through number 3 and SD digital input number 0 through number 15. Since the switch is connected to digital input number 3, click SD digital input number 3 and specify the condition to be used here. In this way, specify conditions by using SD analog input number 0 through number 3. Now, let me describe the digital output function. To run digital outputs, you need to press the digital output at the center of screen. If you press digital output, you will see a digital output in the program tree. Double click it to launch the pop-up window. At the top of pop-up window, you see general output. Press it to launch general output, bit combination, signal toggle, whole port control, unit pulse shot and pulse width modulation. Today, I'll show you the most frequently used ones. General output, bit combination and unit pulse shot. Digital output pop-up window is composed of current signal, target signal and descriptions on target signal. For target signals, gray means bypass, red means low, and green means high, and yellow indicates the special function. We will discuss next. Press number 0 once to turn it to low. Press it one more time to turn it to high. Now, press preview at the right top. Signal will be changed from low to high. You can use previews to check. If wiring is okay. When the device is connected to digital outputs. Turn it to low again and press preview. Turn it to low again and press preview. Number 0 is changed to low. Next, we'll discuss the bit combination. You can use the bit combination function to set desired ports. And indicate them with binary numbers. In our example, start port is set to digital output number 0. End port is set to digital output number 3. I will indicate these four ports be using binary numbers. Here, after setting the target value to 3. Press preview and you will see number 0 and 1 are changed to high. Number 0 and 1 are changed to high. If we change the target value to 0. In binary expression, they all must be set to low. So, they are changed to low as follows. The following is the description of unit pulse shot. Unit pulse shot literally means that pulse outputs are generated. After setting a port to use, you need to set how many seconds pulse output will last by using T1, T2 and T3. In our example, we will set digital output number 0 to high for 1 second. As you see now, number 0 output will be high. 
Unit pulse shot function can be very useful. Because you can use one line to use the function. That generates output for one second. Instead of unit pulse shot if we use general output. Then three lines are required like this. Code would be more complex. Now, we will describe the analog output. Analog output is next to digital output as you can see. Launch the analog output pop-up window. Just like for digital output before, we got current signals and target signals. To apply target signals, we need to click the checkbox and enter numbers in the windows. In the window, you can enter a number from 0 volts to 10 volts. After entering 10 volts, press preview. You will see that output of 10 volts is generated here. That is all for the control box and out function.